yo what's going on it's josh with the pride productions we're back in unreal engine 4 and we're going to talk about a fourth umg tutorial today real quick we're going to make some custom font materials it's actually really cool we're going to we're going to create a custom font material and we're going to use it in blueprints as well so so it's still kind of umg style but before we do anything we're going to need to right click and go to user interface and create a widget and i'm going to name it widget i'm going to name it widget okay that's that's what i'm going to because that's what it is you know what i'm saying now now let's start off quick okay let's let's do this actually pretty plus we're not going to worry about fonts or anything today you know what i'm talking about just grab a text type in the word text and let's drag it in right here now it's, it's way too tiny we're gonna set the anchoring to be at eh, the top that's fine okay because it's gonna kind of take up the middle but I'm gonna tell you right now the fonts gonna be about 50 you know what I'm saying and we can go ahead and change the actual text itself by going over to text here and I'm gonna name it something something real extravagant okay like, emerald obtained Yes. So like we want this to flash up on the screen, but kind of flashy. And we're gonna add a custom material to it. That way we're not just grabbing it, because it's easy to, you know, to, let's make it red or let's make it let's make it green. That's easy. But let's actually do something a little more awesome. Now I'm gonna take my box, because I'm a little weird. I'm gonna take my box, you know what I'm talking about? If I can grab it, there it is, and I'm gonna stretch it over the entire thing there. And I'm gonna kind of get it centered up the best I can. That's probably pretty good right there, and we'll leave it the way it is and we'll save it. That's all we're gonna do right now. Okay. So let's compile, save, and go out of here. Now what we have to create before before we do anything else is we're going to have to create a material for the font so let's right click and it is material and i'm gonna name it font underscore m you know what i'm saying underscore m for for, for material you know what I'm talking about? and we're going to double click and jump into this now i want to show you what we can do and how it'll work over top the font and how to apply it so before we do anything let's let's add a radial gradient exponential and we've add this thing a ton of times but we're going to use it to our advantage again now let's get two collars okay so let's hold the number three Let's grab the number three one more again, and then hold the letter L, bruh, and get a lerp, and plug this radial gradient exponential into the alpha. Now, before we do anything else, we should have realized we're making a we're making a user interface type of material. So click on this, go down to surface, make sure it's set to user interface, okay? And we are going to use the opacity, okay? We are going to use it because we're going to we're going to do like a fade in, fade out thing. So let's set that to translucent, and boom. Now we can plug this in right here to that. Okay, you're like, nice, we got it. Now let's go ahead and set these to two collars. Now I want the outside to be, I want, I want it to be uh, about right there, like a like a, a greenish blue, right? I want it to be a greenish blue, but then I want this one to be a bluish green, bro. So it's kind of, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like the it's the it's kind of okay. Anyway, the point is, so I've got two collars there. I'm gonna plug green in the top and blue in the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? So I got a little green square with a blue thing in the middle, and that that just let's just stop right there. Let's compile and save. And I want to go back. Okay, we're gonna drag this over to this window right here. You know what I'm talking about? Open the widget, and make sure it's in that window right there. Okay. Now the thing is, if you click on Emerald Obtained and we go down to the font material, we can add this material. So we can drag it. Okay, just drag it over to the third window. Window, drop it in right there, and boom. Now look. Look at my materia, brah. Look at my font. All nasty. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's got a little green, a little blue in the middle. I just wanted to show you how that works. So we're going to take it a step further, brah. We're going to take it a step further, so get ready. Now let's go back into the material, and let's keep moving. I personally think we can make this look a little cooler. I want you to type in the word texture coordinate, okay? And what we'll do is we know what this. We've done this before, but I'll open them up just in case. We grab that bad baby. We need to mask it out. So type in the word mask, bruh. You can go ahead and open it up if you want so you can see what's going on because we're only going to have the green channel. And we need to hold the letter M, okay? Hold the letter M and multiply it by 0.5, okay? We need to cut it in half, bruh, because after we do that, we go sign it. We go sign it, bro. Type the word sign. You got it. And this is what we're going to have right here, okay? Now, that's the start. I want to use this to our advantage. So check it out. Let's drag a line from this bad baby right here. I type in the word power. You know what I'm talking about? Type in the word power. Let's set it about to, about, uh, let's set it to 20. See what it looks like. Look, 20 look pretty good. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 25. I'm going to go 25, bro. You know what I'm talking about? 25, boom, all day. So there's our little, we got a little line here, okay? Now, we need to clamp this because we don't want it to actually go over 0 and 1. So now we're basically just clamping it between 0 and 1, and you can see what we did there. Okay, now, what I want to do is I want to take these two and blend them together. So check this out. I want you to create another lerp, and we're going to lerp this lerp from this lerp, right? Okay, anyway, the point is we're going to take this, and I'm going to plug this into both of these, okay? I'm going to plug it into A and B. So we're going to lerp what we have here, which is, of course, if you drop this arrow, it's the same thing. And we're going to lerp each other between this, and what happens? Nothing. Of course nothing. But I want you to think about something. Zero being black and, and B being the white, that means the white is the, the, the line is the white. Well, I want the line to be brighter and the rest to be darker. So, so check this out. I'm going to hold the letter M, okay? I'm going to hold CTRL and grab this one and plug it into that multiply, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Now I'm going to multiply by, by like 0.2, okay? 0.2 and plug it in now. Okay, I'm going to plug it in like now. Now look at what I got going on. You see what I've done there? I made it a little dark, a little light, a little both, okay? Save it, go back, and let's look at it on our material and see what we think. If we open this up, oh, 
a hoe, okay? <laughs> it's kind of metal -y looking. You know what I'm talking about? You got a little metal -y look there. It's pretty sweet. But guys, we ain't done yet. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this thing fade in and fade out on the screen. Just so you guys know how we can do it. So we're going to need something in the material. We're going to need a parameter, a scalar parameter for that. You can hold one or you can hold S, right, and get a parameter. We're going to name it opacity. Did I, spell, did I spell that right? I did. We're going to plug it into opacity. And we need it to actually be zero. Of course, it's set to, if you set it to one, it's going to be full. And if you set it to 0.5, it's barely going to be there. Well, halfway there. Let's set it to zero and keep it because we're going to make it fade in and fade back out. So we just have to remember that right now, the reason we can't see it is because opacity is set to zero. Okay, and we can always go back and change it. So just relax, okay? Just relax. Okay, so what we need to do now is go into the player blueprint. So here I am in my player blueprint. Now, again, this is a custom blueprint, and I'm actually working with a lot of stuff here, and I'm just inside this project to show you guys this tutorial. So pay no mind, but we're going to add a little letter. Okay, we're going we're gonna to right-click, and we're going to type in R key. We need to find the R key. It's the R right there. And if we press R, what we're going to do is we're going to add that thing to the screen. So let's, uh, let's create a widget, okay? You'll see it right here, create, and then type in create, or type in create, and you'll see create widget. If we plug it in, we press it, we're going to do that, bruh. Now, if we go in, what we need to do is we need to grab the one we have. Now, we have one called widget. Uh-huh, that's what we named it. And we can promote it to a variable if we want. And I'm going to name it Widget. Ta-da! That's it. But, I mean, and that's just good practice. You know, that, that, that's just good practice in always creating that and making it a variable. And now let's keep going. Uh, what we want to do is we want to add it to the viewport, right? But it's not going to do anything. Do you know why? Do you know why it's not going to do anything, bro? It's because it's the, the opacity is set to zero. It's set to zero, bro. So this is where we got to go back and do some work inside of our our blueprint or our uh, um, the HUD the HUD itself you can see that nothing's there well we need to actually do two things here we need to affect that I'm gonna name it text for now but you can name it whatever you want capital letters text but you need to go up here and click is variable that is so important if you don't do that we're not gonna be able to pull out the functionality we need now if you go back into the player BP what we can do is from widget I can get the text okay so if I type in get text up oh, up oh, let's try that again there she is, brah, get text. Now what we can do is we can get the material of this text. So you can type in get dynamic material. And you'll see actually it's get dynamic font material. Okay, pretty cool, right? Let's plug this bad baby into there. And now we can get, we can set a scalar parameter. So let's go right here. Let's type in set scalar parameter. And we know what we named it, brah. You remember, I gotta make sure I spell it right. O-P-A-S-G. Okay, opacity, that's it. Now we got it, okay? Now the thing is, we need to affect the value. Let's unplug that by holding alt and clicking, and let's create a timeline, okay? Let's, oh no, you gotta spell it right, bro. Timeline. And we wanna go down to the bottom, and you'll add a timeline. Got it, add a timeline. We'll name it, uh, fade. You know what I'm talking about? Big old letters. And there we go, that, that, that's it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play from start this bad baby, and it's going to update this, okay? But now we just need to create the timeline and add a float track to add the value. Value is set to zero, Right? That means the opacity is completely off. We need to set it up to one, and then we're going to have it fade back out as well. So check it out. Double click on this bad baby. Click the F to create a float track. Name it, uh, um, uh, what? Okay, but anyway, the point is it's named what? And now we're going to name it. We're going to make it three seconds long. The length here will be three seconds. So here's what we'll do. Sh hold shift and click. You got a line. You got a little dot. You got a little dots gonna connect lines together, but a dot. A keyframe is what we call it. So the time is gonna be zero and the value is gonna be zero. No biggie, okay? Now, set the time to 0.5. Shift and click again, add another one. Set the time to 0.5, right? Set the time to 0.5 on this one, but you wanna set the value all the way up to one, okay? You probably can't see it yet. Everything's fine, just chill. Hold shift and do it again. The time will be 2.5, right? Keep it at one to keep the value at one, okay? And let's, let's shift and click one more again, bro. And the three. Tab to next tab tab to get to the next text zero and boom all up 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 you got to make sure that that time is set to three bro if it's if it's set to six it's not gonna work so as you can tell and you can click these two windows boom boom and it'll kind of you know get it together if it's all messed up you can see what we're doing there we're fading in we're holding it for a couple seconds and we're fading out so now what's cool is if we exit that we have our little what variable pro, float variable and then boom we got that bad baby in there so we can compile. And voila, we're ready to go. So now we can go back to the window, okay? I can F11, I can Alt-P, and boom, I'm in here. It's all first person, I'm walking around, okay? But if I press R, check it out, I'm gonna press R, boom, Emerald obtained, and it pops out. That's what I'm talking about, bro, okay? Let's do that again, Escape, Alt-P, press the R button whenever I feel like doing it. Oh, ho, ho. Emerald obtained. 
<laughs> did you get an emerald? I don't know. But according to me, you did. And I'm going to give you one. But guys, I love you. I miss you. Josh here with the Pride Production. Thanks for watching. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit up Facebook, Deprived Productions. Hit up Bandcamp. Hit up SoundCloud, Deprived Music 2018, Deprived 2018. Capital D at the beginning, Capital D at the end. All kind of fun music. We got free games out on itch.io. Just go to the Deprived page. Look for Deprived on itch.io if you want to play some free games. We got more. We only got one out right now. But we got more coming. But guys, I hope you learned a little something here about UMG. All kind of Minecraft stuff coming. But there's a couple things in UMG you need to understand so we can use it in that series. So I'm just covering it as quick as I can. But guys, thanks for watching. You're seeing me scroll around a little project I'm playing with here that's actually going to be kind of neat. And we'll be showing you soon. And it's probably going to be free, like always. But guys, I love you. I miss you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Peace.